Shout out to Brims for the hats that we're wearing. I want to ask a question before we start of all the women out there. Do you know when your man's hairline looks crazy? Or am I just broken? Because apparently I don't realize when Jared's not looking right. Look out for me. You got it. You know it. You know. You always say you know when I don't know. You got it. You got it. I don't. I don't have a beard. I'm not really sure how that's supposed to go. It's not my life. It's yours. It is my life. You gotta teach me. You gotta help me, Shannon. You gotta help me. I'm just learning. So you've been you. <laughs> you've been doing uh. You've been doing uh live social medias. Social medias. Do you know what you're saying right now? <laughs> Live Instagrams. Yeah. Social medias. Social medias. Yeah. You've been down to social medias lately. Um, You've been doing the lives? Yeah. What days? Like, what? do you have a consistent time you've been doing? I like nighttime. I think, like, my topic is a nighttime topic. But Let's what? go on your live and do this on your live. Do what? This whole thing. Like, film it? Yeah. I don't even know where my phone is. Okay. If you can find my phone, then you, you can put the live on. Okay. Forget it. Moving on, this episode is about social media stalking. For those of you guys who have not yet watched my series, I don't know why you hate me so much, but it's called Sham Booty Is Your Perfect Date, and I go on 10 different dates with 10 different guys. If you haven't watched the video we talked about it, me and Jared, go watch that right now to come back to us. And so today we're talking about social media stalking because for the show what I did is I stalked people's social media, then wrote up a report on them, and then researched for the dates, kind of like you would for a job interview. And so today I want to talk to you and wrap with you about whether you think that social media is a positive or a negative when it comes to romantic relationships? Um, I mean, it all depends on the people, I, I believe. Uh, I've been in relationships where the social media was a 100% a negative attribute on the whole relationship. It was like, it was like a cloud following us. <laughs> that was raining all the time. It was not fun. You love rain, though. I do. I do. So I've definitely been in this relationship where social media just tore it apart. And I've been in a relationship where social media has been fine been nothing, been not a big deal. I don't know. I feel, I feel like people are so scared to lose something that they want to stop it from happening. It's like, well, what that can happen in any situation, whether it's open or closed, you know? You could find someone else in a closed relationship and leave that person for that close. You know? I think what you're trying to say is that social media takes away a security blanket from insecure people. So you believe that social media can be a burden or, or a blessing for a relationship? Like you, I went through the same thing in my past relationship. It was just, uh, it was a monogamous relationship. I mean, I don't, I fucking even hate calling it. That's a slap in the face with a wet fish. But I was in a relationship with somebody who just cheated constantly, but we were meant to be only together. And even though I t attempted to try to make things open, they would not have that, but just kept slipping up. And so I became Blue's Clues times infinity. Like I would go on his pictures and look through the likes. And now in this relationship where there's freedom, there's trust, there's honesty, um, and there's, there's real authentic expression, yeah. I'd never stalk. And I have that back again. I have yeah. that power and that confidence and security back again. So I don't really know it's kind of a mix of both. Mm. Social media kind of ruins relationships, but it's more so bad relationships get magnified by social media. Okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So, so would you say that um, because of your last relationship, because I know people probably think this, they don't want to know, but <laughs> because of your last relationship, is that the reason why you're in an open relationship now? Or do you think that you genuinely want an open relationship and that you think that that's the best way possible? The qualities of our relationship that I love so much is the ability to make your own choices. And the fact that there's trust that you can still make the right choices and that I've chosen somebody whose choices I trust. And I like that freedom. And in my last relationship, I tried multiple times to say, look, especially when it got long distance, if you're gonna keep seeing other people, allow me to do the same. I'm not somebody who's hard up for a date. I'm not someone who's struggling to connect with people. Like I can have the same liberties if this is what you want. Yeah. But they were un they were unable to fathom that thought. Because you are in an open relationship, they assume that it, I don't care about you or you don't care about me. And it's like I don't even understand how, you know, that even can be an option. 
You it's know? like if you don't adopt the rules that society has placed on yeah. what the man defines as love, then you must not be experiencing love. Yeah. Because here is the Bisquick recipe for how to create love, and you're not following the directions. You didn't put two eggs in. Yeah. So that's not right. Um, so I don't know. So social media, do you think that it plays a hand in exposing the cheaters? Or do you think it plays a hand in tempta- tempting the cheaters? If you are somebody who has a wandering eye, who's a high novelty seeker, who seeks, um, they use people as soothing. Some people, you know, it depends on how you manage stress. If you manage stress with other people, like when I feel shitty, I need a, a man to pick me up. If you're that kind of person, then social media gives you more freedom and choices. So mm-hmm. yes, it can be bad. But if you are not those things, then it's just a tool to enjoy, to promote yourself, to have fun harmlessly to your relationship. I wouldn't feel good if you were like commenting on like other dudes pictures being like wow or like ooh la la or putting like the tongue emoji or something yeah <laughs> i would feel weird about that but uh i don't know if i would be mad but that's kind of the same way you would feel if like a friend did that because it's like yeah. it's tacky yeah you yeah say that, just, yeah you know that's what it is behavior. that's that's exactly what it is it's not the fact that you're flirting with somebody it's like wow why are you doing it on social media? So like, my show was about the power of social media stalking. And so while being in a relationship, it can have challenges. Well, actually, before we even get into that, our relationship is because of social media. It is. Without social media, we wouldn't be sitting here today. We wouldn't. Social media is powerful. I mean, it's what we, it's what it's our business card now. Mm. You know, it's the first thing most people ask. They don't even ask for your number anymore. It's like, hey, what's your Instagram? You know, what's your Snapchat? We met on social media. The first thing, the first time you ever really saw me, because you don't remember seeing me in person, um, was when you saw my profile. Yes. What'd you think? I mean, that's what attracted me to you. I, I saw, you know, I saw a strong, educated, mixed girl. <laughs> and those are like everything that I like. So yeah. when I saw that, I was like, oh, I'm going to follow back. I want to see what she's about. Um, and then I, when you when I see that your content is sex driven, obviously I'm a man that intrigues me. And I, I guess some some people would kind of shy them away, but for me it intri- it made me intrigued and it made me pay attention more actually. When we were not seeing each other yet, but we just had the mutual follow. Yeah. How often were you on my page? Like, would you ever go to my page, or would it only be when like I popped up on your feed? Honestly, I can't recall. But I would say we just went and popped up on my feet. But I would go to your page and I would go through it, you know. I will say though, I will say for a 18 year old to like, I would say 25, social media, it's hard to be in a relationship with that type of access. Oh, for sure. It's the slippery slope. So if I let you like other girls' photos, if I let you talk to the girl, if I let you DM somebody, it's not too long until you left me or you're having a baby with that person. You know what I mean? It's a slippery slope it's possible. With mindset. It's everything is possible. Like that's I, I don't want anybody to take like what I'm saying, what she's saying into uh, if you allow your your significant other to uh, indulge or be in an open relationship or talk to other women or talk to other men, that they're gonna stay with you because of that. You still might get left. And you still might get brokenhearted, and you still got, you still might get trampled over. But at the end of the day, you freaking out and going through their phone and stopping them or trying to stop them, it's not going to stop them. If they were going to leave you, they will leave you. I also wouldn't be happy to know that the only reason why you're with me is because I prevented you from being with the person who was a better fit. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like a really like it's a very um, very salty victory to have. Mm-hmm. I'm just not afraid. At the end of the day, I have confidence in myself. I know that I've worked really hard to be the kind of person who doesn't have to second guess himself, whether that be educating myself, like staying in shape, being on top of my game. And so I just don't have the mental space to spend time worrying about somebody thinking that I'm enough. If you don't think I'm good enough, somebody else will. It's not difficult for me to meet new people. I've met you, we have a great partnership, and I honor that with trust. I don't know if you do this. What? Like, do you ever go on other rappers' page and be like, okay, like, followers? Oh, here? 100%. I, but I don't look at it like a comparing thing. I look at it like a study. Like, how do they do this? What are they doing? What does their music sound like? What, how, what, what's, what, how are they posting? What are they posting about? You know, I look at their pages and, and more look for inspiration than comparing. Yeah, you never go to a dude's page, like, oh, look at his body. It's so 
tight, no. so firm. No. It no. sounds like your issue. <laughs> I do that. <laughs> it sounds like something you got it. Yeah, it's, a, it's definitely like that. I don't think that I do it in terms of looking at other couples. And if I do, it's more because I'm such a fan of love. I'm such a massive groupie for love. Yeah. If I see somebody in a really positive relationship or expressing their love and their joy, their, you know, that love for each other, I'm like, oh, it's so nice. I'm happy for you. But if I see you with a great body, I'm coveting that shit. Like, no tomorrow. What would you do if, if Instagram started <laughs> What would you do if Instagram started showing everyone who, like, it starts showing like the, the profiles of people that went to their profile. Oh yeah, it would definitely change. I've had this a couple times before happen where somebody who I don't really like or fuck with yeah. like blocks me all of a sudden. And I'm like, did you know I was looking at your page? Because like, we don't follow each other, right? And I just might be going to their page like... But you can use it to your advantage though. So. How? No. No. It's like, it's like, it's like a sending a poke. Yeah. My ex, not my ex, but my ex ex, yeah. used to flip out over pokes. Really? I'm like, what the heck? I didn't even know what pokes mean. I was poking your mom at one point. Yeah. Like, I was poking <laughs> mom like on Facebook, like poke. And I didn't know it was a sexual thing until like she said it was. Yeah. So do you think that there's a, 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 a benefit in stalking? social media? 100%. So my show, Shampoo to Use Your Perfect Date, is all about tips and tricks on how to correctly stalk someone's social media profile because you want to be able to look through it and look for the right things like you would a job interview. Let us know where you guys think social media plays in relationships. Is it on the positive? Is it on the negative? And how do you manage it both as a single person or in a relationship? You're a non-complimenter. I know. You know this about yourself? No, I compliment. No, I don't know. You're no. A, you are a non-complimenter. No, it's just, when you get it, it's like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> you know, there's a method to this madness. My name is Sham Booty, and I have over 10 years of experience as a sex and relationship educator. Through my work, I've helped hundreds of people with their sex lives, and I found that we focus way too much on the surface and not enough on true intimacy. But what if we did it in reverse? Could we be anyone's perfect date by focusing on the psychology of seduction rather than makeup and perfect clothes? To find out, I decided to go on 10 first dates armed with only my brain. Every single date is taking place at the same coffee shop, at the same table, no sex Sexy clothes, no fancy makeup, every single time. Now, each of my subjects thinks it's a blind date, but I'm gonna use his social media to teach you guys how to get the upper hand. My hypothesis, 90% will say yes to a second date, and 70% will say it's an ideal match, even if I'm not their type. My entire career has led up to this point. Let's put my knowledge to the test and show you how to be the perfect date. Look at mama, got them brains on ya Keep them things looking pretty with them rings on ya Don't you walk up on me, I might pull up on ya I'm just trying to get these dollars, maybe see behind us I'm just trying to put you on the morning Benny Hannes I'm just trying to get you up and out that little Honda 